So now we'll progress on to a, a longer run up. Clearly, as we know, to run with the javelin held back over a long distance is going to be very difficult. So therefore, we're going to start now with the javelin overhead, which is a much easier rhythm. And the rhythm will be similar to running, but the arm is overhead. It doesn't really matter if the point is up or down too much. Round about horizontal as usual, and your rhythm when you run will be like that, just like a normal running action, but instead of the arm there. And you'll take it back gently over a couple of strides. You don't have to whip it back, just take it back over a couple of strides. And then you're into your extended run up as we did a little bit earlier. From about here, it doesn't matter if you throw way back from the line, we can easily readjust the marker. Okay, fine. With this javelin, you'll just take the javelin, run up a little bit further back to protect yourself. It doesn't matter if you go over the line at this stage, but you don't want to go too far onto the grass or the concrete at the end. So this time you will throw from behind the line, so we'll take it back a bit further. Relax the arm, nice and easy. Take back over two. Well done. It's a beautiful throw. And it looks effortless. You're not trying to hit hard with the arm. It's all coming from the legs and rhythm. So now you're feeling this rhythm yeah. and it feels effortless, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. and not too much of a hard work. Right, so let's work now on a full run-up. Uh, so you've got it worked out for what you've been doing for a while now. And this is quite a long way. The maximum run-up you can have is 33 metres. Uh, so we're going to go to here, just inside the inside lane of the track. Your normal run-up is nice and rhythmical. And you'll run with that overhead carry. Take it back over two in the place where we marked earlier. And then a nice easy throw. You're not throwing for distance at this stage. You're really focusing again on keeping the upper body relaxed in this position for as long as possible. And your focus to throw, as soon as you land on your right foot after crossover, is that movement extremely quickly. If you do that, the rest will follow. Okay, no forcing it, nice and easy. Feel the rhythm and be relaxed all the way, particularly with the upper body. Okay. That looks a nice relaxed throw. Yeah. Notice at the end, there's a little bit of pulling back almost. So you're driving here and then pulling back somehow. I think actually you can just let this leg go into the ground and drive up by taking this hip forward. So less pulling back with this leg, let that leg just go into the ground and be solid as you throw. Run up's good, rhythm's good, take back's good. A nice firm base, fast heel strike. That was better. And look at the flight on that, way further. <laughs> 